All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into the avatar really quickly so I can show you guys how she works. So first of all, you can notice we have something here that says show my avatar so we can talk. That right there is something that's only going to be shown for people who don't have your avatar shown. So it's a good way to get people to show your avatar. Um, this avatar is uh, hopefully focused around um, helping those in the community who maybe aren't comfortable with speaking in the game. Um, she has a couple features that will help with that. So this is one of those. So we can just jump right into the avatar really quickly and bind in. And first of all, you can see right off the bat, we have this little icon on her shirt that's pulsating for uh, mute. So all that's going to do is tell people obviously around you that you're mute. And that's actually based on your in-game mute button. So you can see there's, I'm not uh, pressing any buttons in the menu. If I unmute my microphone, you can see my, my voice is moving. My, <laughs> I mean, my mouth is moving and the mute icon goes away. So that's kind of cool. It's helpful if you um, want to let people know that you're mute. Another thing is if you don't want that on, you can go into the options and turn off the mute detection. And then whenever I mute, you can see it's not showing up. So I uh, let me just turn on the steady cam really quickly so you guys can see a little better. And then also we have some uh, cloth physics with the skirt. Um, they work pretty well. You shouldn't ever see any snags or anything like that. But just in the case that you do, you can go ahead and reset the cloth with this button. It's going to pause the cloth simulation and then whenever you let it go, it's going to play it again. And then you can also turn off the cloth and turn on dynamic bones or you can turn off dynamics completely if you don't want to lag. Um, and then we have some accommodations. This is kind of what I was talking about a second ago, helping people who might not feel comfortable talking or people who want to communicate in other ways. Um, first off, we have a pen or we have two pens, uh, one in each finger. And if you're on index, it's kind of cool because they follow your fingers. And then finger point obviously is to write with them. And you can turn those off. And then we have some emotes. These are kind of all just memes here. We have a couple still ones like this. And then we have some actually animated ones. Kind of like, I honestly love this one. My Discord told me to use it. <laughs> um, but anyways, we have a couple of those. And then we have this emoji mask. And this is something you may or may not have seen on my last avatar. But in the case that you haven't, it's basically a mask, obviously, that goes in your face. That you have emojis on. We have 117 different ones on these radials. And they're all set up into these nice categories for you. And if you don't have access to a mirror when you're selecting these, you can just look on your hands. You can see they're showing up on my hands here. So if I rotate it around, it's going to match exactly what's on my face here on my hand. So that's pretty useful. And you can turn off emojis completely if you don't want them. Or you can just turn the mask off. And then we have these bubble messages too, which I think are pretty useful. Um, bear in mind, we're looking in a mirror, so they're going to be backwards in the mirror because that's just how text works in mirrors. But you have these little bubbles that'll pop over your head. If you're, you know, you want to say a message really quickly and don't want to write it out with the pens or something like that, which can be pretty useful sometimes. You have a bunch of, you know, good phrases here. Um, and then we can kind of move on. We have emotes. So em or memes one and two are going to be the exact same as they were in the accommodations menu. I just put them, put all of the emotes that are on the avatar in this menu just so you can uh, mess with them. So these kind of uh, help too. These are just basic phrases again. But these are all particle effects. Um... And then we can go into the appearance options. So we have two top options and then we have a third option here. I'm pretty sure you know what that one is. Um, and then we have a skirt toggle so we can toggle the skirt off. And then we have another option here that I'm pretty aware you know what that is. Um, and then we have accessories and we can toggle all of this off separately, which can be kind of good if you don't want uh, anything here. Um, and then we also have jewelry. We can toggle all that off as well. We have the rings on and off and we have some piercings and stuff. Um, and then we have the mask again. This is in the appearance options because it affects the, the appearance, right? And then we have, uh, actually we have some color options. I think these are really cool. You have a white and black uh, hair base color swap, which is good. And then you also obviously have your color shift and this is a color shift, meaning you get black and white with it too, which is pretty cool. Um, and then also right now we're in the pastel color mode. You can turn it on to vibrant like this and you get more vibrant colors and you can cycle through it again and the color shift is gonna remember where you were regardless of which color you pick, which is cool. And we have this rainbow cycle mode, which I think is really, really cool the way it works and that whenever you play it, it's gonna take the base color of whatever you have now and it's gonna cycle it through the color wheel. This means that uh, you have really smooth transitions whenever you're color shifting and it's a constant color shift. And then I can also go ahead and I can pause it and it's gonna stay where it was. So if I play it and I wanna land on, you know, purple, you pause it on purple, you hit, you saw me hit the button, pause, and now we're good. And it's smooth transitions regardless of where you are. So I can switch to, you know, this yellow and I can hit the rainbow cycle button again and it's going to continue from yellow and keep going. And then also on this, on this shirt, we have a skirt uh, gradient rainbow. 
it's actually kind of hard to see there you go you can see it better in the mirror and then this is going to be affected by the pastel and other color modes too um and then we have some toys here so we can kind of start off by talking about the cat cat is pretty cute it's basically just a little cat he's going to pop on your head and you know he's got some little dynamic bones to him and then we can put him on your arm and you see i just toggled the arm on but nothing happened you have to make a fist you can make a little fist with your right arm he's going to go on your right or you can make a fist with your left arm he's going to go on your left and then based on whichever hand has the the cat on him you can just open your hand and he's going to drop in the world and i can go ahead and run around and he's going to stay there which is kind of cool and then i can go ahead and pick him up again with whatever arm i want same with this right arm i can let him go and you can like you know place him down on the ground and then you also have a scale mode which i think is pretty cool you can turn on the size and you know scale him up and he's actually going to stay this size even if he's on your arms <laughs> or on your head which is kind of cool so you can be like this if you really want to do that um but uh, anyway, we have uh, pens again on this menu. Then we have our throw joint. This is something that I was, that was on my last avatar. But uh, this one's updated and it has more features and fixed some bugs. Um, so basically, if you just saw, I, I went from my right hand to my left hand. And this is entirely based on which gesture you are. So if left hand finger points left hand, right hand finger point is right hand. And then if you do both, it's going to go in between your hands. If I can get it to lock. So it'll go between your hands with two fingers. And then you can do this. You can also open your hand and it's going to throw, which is pretty cool. And we have this option for multi-throw. Normally, if you don't have it on, you can only throw one. It'll disappear. But you can have multi-throw on and it's going to let you throw more than one, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then if we go inside, you can kind of see these effects better. But um, for here, we can, uh, we can throw the ball and then in mid-flight, we can change its property. So I just turned off gravity, as you saw on the menu. And it changed and then I can turn on gravity again and you can see it's affected by gravity again. And then I can turn on tracers which is going to turn on the trails and they're going to last a lot longer. And then this is going to be affected across also every single ball that you throw. Even if you have multi throw on so if I turn off gravity you can see all the balls gravity is off. And then you can turn on faster bouncing which is just going to make each ball whenever it bounces 10% faster. And there's a speed limit on this because some, uh, some maps have optimized colliders which means they aren't in every single spot which means also subsequently that the ball will go through the map. So you can turn off the speed limit, um, which will make them go crazy. As you can see, this one's probably going to start going crazy. Yeah. And then again, you can turn off the speed limit or turn it on and it'll slow down instantly. Um, and then a thing about this spring joint that's a little bit different than others is sometimes when if you've ever seen other spring joints, you might, um, if I can get the mirror, there you go. Um, some things with other spring joints that you might see is whenever you move your head, they'll move with it. This one doesn't do that, which is pretty nice. But I actually ran into some pretty cool people the other day um, who were looking at it and they said, you know what, I kind of honestly like how the spring joint follows your head. So I went in and added a, <laughs> added a toggle for that. So you can center it and then if you turn your head, it'll turn. And the thing with the uh, this method of doing it is uh, normally the following your head is only local. With this method, it's uh, uh, remote as well. So that means other players will see it follow your head, which is pretty cool. And then we also have a kunai knife. So this is cool in the fact you can spin it around your finger. And then not only can you spin it around your finger, you can catch it with uh, the peace sign symbol uh, or gesture. So you can catch it between your fingers and then you can make a fist and it'll catch in your hand. So you can spin it around you know, do some tricks. If you're on index, this is pretty fun because you can just spin your fingers around. Um, this works on other controllers too, obviously not just the knuckles, but it just is more responsive here, which is cool. Um, and then also if you're not right-handed, that's fine. You can use your left hand too, and it'll transition pretty, pretty smoothly over from any condition or any state to any state. So if I'm in fist, I can transfer it to between my fingers back to twirling. So I can spin it around, catch it, switch hands, you know, twirl around my left hand. I'm not left-handed, so this is garbage. Um, so then I can grab it here and then if I'm holding it in my fist or in my fingers at any point in time, I can actually throw it. So you can see it'll throw and that throw is not static. It's based entirely off how fast you move your arm. So if I move it slow, it's going to drop, if I move it fast, it's going to fly and in between. Um, and then you just saw when it hits something, it goes into some sparks, which is pretty cool. Um, and this, this happens either hand. So I can, you know, go like that and then throw it mess around with it in first person so you guys can see it a little better without the mirror in the way 
and then you can throw it with your fist too. Same thing, left hand. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's pretty much it to the avatar. Hopefully you guys like her. Um, put a lot of effort into this one. And in case you guys haven't seen the ad, um, for the first month, 100% of the proceeds for this avatar are going to charity. The charity is, you know, really near and dear to my heart here. So I really hope you guys donate. I really think that, uh, you know, <laughs> I really think you guys will. And I think it'd be really great. So anyway, thanks for seeing the avatar. Thanks for taking the time. And it was probably a long video. But anyway, see you guys later.